also just went to the gym. It's Monday morning. I am stopping at Starbucks, getting myself a treat. And we're gonna go to the nursing home to see grandma and uh, clean up her room a little bit. I go there about once a week because she likes to hide food in her closet and in her drawers and stuff and then she forgets that she puts it there. So once a week I go visit granny and I clean out her room for her. I'm just waiting in line at Starbucks. Okay, so if you like pumpkin spice, this is definitely for you. I get a venti chai tea latte with oat milk and one pump of pumpkin sauce. Delicious. Alright, so we're on our way to see Grandma, and I'm just going to give a fair warning, disclaimer, disclaimer, whatever. My grandmother has a frontal lobe dementia, so she is very childlike. Um, she's full, she has full function of all of her limbs, everything. Um, she talks perfectly fine, perfectly normal, but her mind is almost stuck in the past. Um, her childhood memories are very, very vibrant and detailed, uh, but she has almost absolutely no um, short-term memory. I could walk out of the room, come back a half hour later, and she would have no recollection of me even being there. But she remembers so many details from her childhood, so oftentimes um, I will talk to her about her childhood, and she still believes in her mind where she's at that her mom and dad, all her, her grandparents, friends that have passed on are all still alive. And in her mind, it's like she just seen them yesterday. So it's kind of a beautiful thing if you really think about it and look for the collateral beauty in all of this. Um, I think one of the saddest things about aging is you lose so many of your loved ones. You know, you put your, your grandparents to rest, your parents to rest. Um, if you have older siblings, you see them go, you see aunts and uncles go, friends, and it's, it's awful. You know, new generations are coming in, but you you lose everyone who you grew up with. And um, in her mind, you know, she was just having coffee on the porch with her grandparents yesterday. So uh, if you hear me talking about relatives that should cl clearly be passed on, that's because in her mind, they're still very much so alive. And um, I, because of this disease, I don't correct her on anything. I just play into everything. and and try to keep her um, just happy. That's all. So let's go see Grandma and uh, see what she's up to. Do you live in town here or do you live? I live up north. Oh, do you? So North okay. Michigan. Oh, you Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I live on by the farm. Then we come over and we have tea. Hi, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Bring our baskets and we'll pick berries. 
and then the soup and pour. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, thank you. I think you look actually very beautiful today, Audrey. Oh, thank you. You're Yellow so is my favorite color. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes. Nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Audrey. Uh, <laughs> she said to be good with that in bed at night. I mean, you can be eating off my phone or anything. That's when I get a little cuddly, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, and that's what I'm punching my nose. Oh, that's <laughs> why my nose hurts so bad today. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Anybody tries to get in this room, I'll kick them out. There you go. <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs> they come in. What are they? What are she talking about? What is she nuts? I get kick out of here. <laughs> <laughs> kick them out. Yeah. That's with us. I am feeling sweaty. He's going to take a little nap on you. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, he likes to nap. <laughs> yeah, just sit here. Yeah, talk to him for a while. He's okay. So now I'm home, and my husband should be home in a couple of hours. That kind of took up pretty much like the most part of my day. I didn't have any clients today at the house, so I had a free day, and yeah. Had a good workout in this morning, had a nice visit with Grandma, and just as I predicted, she wants to take me to her, um, her grandfather's, or grandparents' farm in Canada. So that was kind of cute. <laughs> tell you that I'm thinking about when I leave here because yeah, the city will be that I'm gonna go out to the farm and uh, just hang out in the farm probably all summer and find things to do so if you want to come out I think that sounds great yeah, it's you know I mean across the road we got that big hill we can go oh flying around yeah there's just lots of people you know, on the back of our farm, the river runs through it. You can jump up the railroad bridge, and oh gosh, the trees back there are just full of pretty flowers. And I just do all this stuff there. It's just fun. Mm. Yeah. So we're gonna close out this video. I'm a hot mess. It's a muggy day out. I got a red spot on my nose from my glasses sitting in. Who cares? But yeah, that's Granny, and I love her so much. Um, like I said, if you kind of look for the collateral beauty in a shitty situation, it's there. If you look for the shitty negative things, you'll find them as well. And I've mentioned this before, but not on YouTube. Um, I believe, it's my belief, that a, when a child is brought into this world, the first... Um, few moments of their life, first few years, that is the closest that you are to spirit, the closest that you are to God, it is pure, purely innocence. I also believe in the other way around, if you were to go to the end of your life, um, those last few years of your life, again, I believe are the closest that you are to spirit and closest that you are to God. So I feel honored that I'm able to be so close with my grandmother, um, in these last moments of her life. Years. <laughs> she probably has a little while before she knocks on heaven's door, but these, you know, she's not going to get better. Dementia is just one of those diseases. Um, so yeah, I'm just honored to be able to be here for her, even if she doesn't even have any recollection of me being there um, during this past year. Um, I feel honored to be able to take care of one of the ones who um, helped raise me and care for me when I was young, so now it is an honor that I get to care for her in a type of way. So yeah, that's it for the video today. I'm gonna close out and uh, get myself together, get the house together for Will to get home so he comes home to a happy home.
after a long day of work. Because people don't like Mondays, you know? Mondays kind of suck. But I hope you guys have a great one. Try to get in this room and pick them up. There you go. <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs>